guys, so I'm starting out with my eyes and I'm just priming using Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in light sand, just blending that out with a damp sponge. And then I just went in with my MAC Studio Fix Pressed Powder just to set my eyelids and make sure all of my eyeshadows went over smoothly. And then I just applied some tape to the corners of the eyes to get a nice crisp line. And then we're going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I'm taking this really muted, light, lavendery purple color and I'm just buffing this all throughout the crease. I did apply two layers. Then I'm just going into the shade Sienna and I'm pretty much doing the exact same thing but I'm bringing this a little bit further down along the tape just to kind of build it up in the outer corner. So just buffing and buffing that and then I switched over to an E25 from Sigma and I'm going in with the shade Cypress Umber and I'm just building this up in the outer corner and creating kind of like a V shape. Then I went into the shade Mulberry which is the most beautiful burgundy ever and I'm using a tiny little E36 just to start building this up in the crease. And then to cut my crease I'm just going back in with Tarte Shape Tape and I'm using a Sigma F70 and I'm pretty much just carving out where I want my crease to be. <laughs> then I mixed together the shades Cypress Umber and Mulberry and I kind of just blended this against the concealer just to make sure that everything was you know, nice and blended. And then I did the same thing but with my tiny little blender brush and just followed along the cut crease line. Then I'm taking the shade Tempura and I'm just using this for my brow bone highlight. And then I'm wetting my brush with some MAC Fix Plus and picking up the shade Sultry which is such a beautiful colour. I'm just packing this all over the lid where I cut out the crease. Then going into the black in the palette which is called Noir and just taking this on an E25 and adding a little bit in the outer corners and then going back in with my teeny little brush with some of that black shade I'm just doing the same thing that I did before just bringing it up along the crease line. Then I'm picking up some of the shade Rose Pink and I did spray my brush once again and I'm just kind of applying this more towards the inner third of the lid and then just going back in with my E40 to make sure my edges are blended and then for the glitter I use the Stila Magnificent Metals glitter in Diamond Dust I believe my oh my lines were not even so please ignore that and then I went in with the Quick Flick liner and I just used the liner side not the stamp and created a winged liner then I just removed the tape and I wiped away any fallout and then I went in with my Sigma Longwear Liner Pencil in Wicked and just ran that across my tight line. And then for mascara I took the Rimmel Wow Wings Mascara and just gave my lashes a coat of that. And for falsies I went in with the Lure and Vegas Nay Shining Star Lashes. Moving to the skin, I'm priming using the Technic Cosmetics Primer Spray and then I'm going in with the MAC Hyper Real Foundation in Rose Gold Effects and I'm applying this with a Sigma F60. And for foundation, I went with the Colourpop No Filter Foundation in the shade Light 50 so I just pumped some of it and blended it all out with a damp sponge. Then to cream contour, I took the Model Co Cosmetics Contouring Stick and I just outlined all of the areas that I wanted to contour and I went in with the Models Prefer Airbrush Foundation Brush to blend all of this out. This is one of my favourite brushes for blending out cream contour. I'm absolutely loving it at the moment. Then I just went back in with my sponge and made sure that all of the edges were super blended and seamless. And then I'm going back in with Tarte Shape Tape, which you guys are probably sick to death of seeing, but I love it so much. 
and I'm just applying this underneath my eyes and down the center of my face and blending it out with my sponge. Once again, I just took the excess underneath my contour line as well, just to give me a nice sharp line. Then I went in with the Illamasqua Cream Pigment in the shade Androgen. It's a nice like creamy blush shade and I just used a Real Techniques contour brush to apply that to my cheeks. And then for a cream highlight, I went into my Pure Cosmetics Sun Kissed Glow Strobing Palette, I think it's called. And I just applied all of this to the high points of my face using my damp sponge. Then to set my under eyes, I used the Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder, which is one of my absolute favorite powders ever. And then to set the rest of my face, I just went in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder and just did a really light dusting over all of the other areas. Then for my powder contour, I used the Smashbox Cali Contour Kit and I took the more cool toned shade and I just really carved out my face just to make it look a little bit less like a moon. And then I picked up some of the bronzer shade and I just used an XO Beauty bronzer brush just to add some more color to my face. And then I just did a super light dusting with a duo fiber brush of the blush from the palette as well. Then to highlight, I went into my MAC Beamy, no, Double Gleam, I'm sorry, Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. That's a mouthful. So I just applied that over the top of where my cream highlighter was. I know this is a lot of products, but you do thin layers and build it up and it looks beautiful. And I just set everything down with some Fix Plus. Back onto the eyes, I went back in with Dusty Rose on an E45 from Sigma and just buffed this under the lower lash line. And then I did the same thing with Mulberry and Cypress Umber. I just pretty much buffed those all the way under that lower lash line. And then I picked up the shade Noir on an E68, which is like an angled brush. And I just pressed this right up against my lash line and made it a little bit more smoky. Then I just covered my lash band with the same eyeliner just to make sure you couldn't see it. Then I picked up some more of the shade Rose Pink on a little E46 brush and I just applied this to the inner portion of the lower lash line. Then I'm going into the Models Prefer Foil Finish Cream Eyeshadow Palette in Pink Luster and I just took that really light shade and I'm just applying this to the inner corners. Then I applied some black liner in my waterline and coated my bottom lashes with some mascara. Then for lips I used the Essence Lip Liner in the shade Satin Mauve and I just completely outlined my lips. And then to fill them in I did an absolutely horrendous job at filling my lips in but I used the Gerard Cosmetics Hydra Matte Liquid Lip, I think they're called. This one's in the shade Sure, and that completed the look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one.